Hello everyone, my name is Menu Kelsis and welcome back to Home Sweet Home. Scary ass game which I take no pleasure in recording because I value my dreams and unlike maybe many of you, I don't like having bad things in my dreams. So I don't need this, but still, anything to entertain you guys. Uh, so I'm hoping that we finally pass that woman? Or not. Why is that door open? That's a very big ass room over there. Okay, I don't like this at all. Guess it's the only way out. What the fuck is that noise? Okay, sneak mode, activate. Is that the fire over there? Maybe just a matter. I should be comfortable with windows now because I appeased that Petra thing. Do I have to stay near the light? Or is light bad? Oh god. I'm in unfamiliar territory. Yeah, let me just turn off my speaker thing. Okay, I've been getting used to the game, but not now. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't need to open that. Is there a locker to hide in? Surely they wouldn't bring in anything scary if there's nothing to hide in. Okay. Okay. Uh, just so I don't miss anything, I'm going to... Okay, I can run. Walk over here. What the fuck is this? Oh no. Is this a, like a die thing? Are we in the art place? Oh, I'm glad I came over here so I could take a look at this. Doll full of nails. Oh, so that woman was holding nails. Uh, let's take a look at this. We're filling this out! So I'm guessing that's Jane, and someone hates Jane. <gasps> Is Crazy Girl my ex-lover? Oh, or someone that loves me, but she hates her because she's in my life and she's not? Oh my god, everything's starting to fill out. Oh my god. I've got a jealous monster. Oh my god. But why would the jealous monster stab me? Is she a Yandere? No, wait. So yeah, Yandere, because I keep getting mixed up with Sundari and Yandere. In case you don't know what Sundari is, Sundari is someone that's like, Oh, I love you, but I'm not going to show it. I'm going to be mean to you and all that, but I still love you. It's just not clear. And Yandere is someone that, Oh, I love you so much. I'll kill you. I'll do anything to keep you by my side, and I'll kill anyone that gets in the way and stuff. So, I think this one wants to kill me so that she could keep me for herself forever. So that I never fall into anyone else's hands. Or bed. God, okay. You know, I should be... I like how that billboard plays there. It means you can hide behind this. Stop. Hmm. This is too dangerous for me. I don't even know what to do. This place is so fucking big! Okay. <clears throat> Let Lechery Jinx continued. Uh, description I guess. Actually, the Lechery Jinx doesn't bring real affection. The target will be possessed by the spirit that came with the clay. The target will eventually lose his identity. Identity. The spirit will follow the caster until the end of the target's life because just a small separation will result in great pain. They will also be together. Wait, 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 wait. Let me read this properly. So I think the letter is that little doll thing. 
Um, and we did read this about this in another episode. Uh, Tiger will lose identity. Tiger. So, Tiger okay. the clay. So we're talking about the clay doll thing, filled with nails. Tiger will eventually lose his identity. Castor will end the Tiger's life because just a small separation will result in great pain. So that woman's. I think that woman tried this on me, but it somehow didn't work, and now she's in great pain. But somehow we'll always be together. Mm. What is this for? Uh, oh, are we near the end of the game? Is this where we put everything? What do you mean change paper? I can't change paper. WS. Can't do anything. Okay. I thought we were going to arrange all our photos there. I like that. Kinky. No, that's not. Yeah, that would be spelled kinky. A lovely face. I am paranoid. I am paranoid. I should just calm down. This is the art department of the whatever we are. Second mysterious symbol. Let's read that. Paper with something drawn on it. Could be some kind of symbol. God damn. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? I'm the security guard. Hmm? Hmm. Must be imagining things. My night shift has only started in this art department. I didn't like that music. Oh, shit. Well, today, class, we are going to talk about polar bears in a snowstorm next to an igloo. As you can see, I have drawn it all out here. But it's a snowstorm and the polar bears are white and the igloo is white, so... Yeah, it's just plain white. Okay. Either way. Mm. We're learning so much here. Jean's Diary. We haven't had one of these in a while. April 15th. Another day from doing nothing and staying in. Tim called me and told me that he wasn't done with his job today, even though he promised that we'd go out tonight. He had to work even on his days off. What the hell was that? What about our days off together? It got me thinking sometimes if it was because of me. I never, I was never good at talking like it was with, wait, I was with writing. I figured that I should do something for him, to please him, to be there for him. Did I have to change myself for him? I couldn't get over this thought. I'm pretty sure my guy is cheating. Like. Don't cheat on your girlfriend. Like, if you know it's not going to work out, then just be honest and break up with them. Don't waste each other's time. Don't cheat behind their back and all that shit. Not like I know, because I've never had a girlfriend, so, you know. What am I saying? Who am I to say what to do? Can we go up here? Oh my god, something's in here. Hello? Is somebody in here? Wait, what? Oh, it was you, Rag. <clears throat> it was you, Rag. Oh, I see. Your big black hand sticking out from under there. I understand. Okay, that or something drew this. Third mysterious symbol. Ooh, description. Okay, uh, look around. Could this be a map? Like, this is corridors and where doors are. Uh, let me just check. Objectives. Usable items, second mysterious symbol. The third mysterious symbol. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, we already did that. Um Yes, yes, yes. Wait. Uh this one. So that's that one. Hmm. Wait, is it the same on the other side? Huh. Why do we still have this rolled metal am amulet? What does that do again? Tiny amulet inscribed with magic letters, mostly worn by men. It is believed to protect those who wear it and also make them more, make them attractive. Oh, is that why I've been chased around? I've been attractive. Things want to kill me because I. Oopsie, I'm attractive. Wait, please. Okay. So we just get one more letter to find. Oh, I have to arrange it on the light table. Okay, so this is going to show me what it looks like. I understand. Hello. Studying hours are up. You are not supposed to be here. Oh, it's that letter thing. Well, I'll check that in a second. 
Oh, that just leads to the same room. Okay. What about here? Oh. Oh, is, this, is that supposed to spell numbers or something? Well, I actually like this. Refreshing and not scary. Well, it, I am kind of slightly tense here, but there's no danger. It's just a simple puzzle that I need to solve. So, show me. Hmm, what could this be? A mysterious symbol. Maybe there was something drawn. It could be some sort of symbol. Uh huh. Okay, I understand. Now! Please don't let anything jump out at me because I got all three pieces of paper. Still don't trust Windows, even though I offered that pet I think. Okay! Oh, okay, I understand. Not really. Do I not have three pieces of paper? Stop! Stop! Uh, out. oh, they're on there. Uh, I think I might be missing a piece of paper. No, wait. I got one from in there, one from in there, and one from in there. Okay, so that should be all. So, what am I trying to do here? Maybe I'm supposed to line up the lines. Three, four, six. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Three, four, six. Okay. Three, four, six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened? Something's locking that door. So you tell me something was right behind me? I like how I can hide behind this. Oh, it's only one way, okay. Well, these are disturbing ass drawings. Who the hell we draw? <laughs> Damn right! Please don't tell me you can see my legs. God, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, her pattern just changed. Oh, Locker, I love you. Fucking lovely Locker. So that's Mr. Mrs. Duck Duck Locker thing. <coughs> what was that door opening? Why am I in here? Oh, it's in. I have to shove this. Oh, this is gonna be so much noise. Nothing's gonna get me. Surely she can't get me in here. She can't crouch for shit. What's that sound for? or anything. This is a big gamble now. This is what this is. Come on, open up, open up. Oh, thank you so much. Wait, what? 
Why did this take me here? So that's the closest locker to find to get to safety. Actually, hide behind this. She's coming back. It's a fucking walker. If I if she walks over this way, I'm fucking screwed. Which way are you walking? Stupid. What was my goal in that anyway? Where was I supposed to go? This place is so big, I can't tell where I have to go. I was silent through the whole thing. I I was concentrating so hard. Ah! Ah. God. Ah. Uh. What was I? What was my angle there? I was to reach the end of that room. I'm guessing. I was too impatient. I knew I should have been more careful. There's only one locker there. That was in plain sight. Hello. Wait, come on. Let's do the light test. Wait, I need a key for that thing. Is that why I'm here? What? What's happening? What's with the SPS? Okay. So I need a key for that. Well, if I had... If I hadn't died, I wouldn't have known that I would have needed the key. Let's try sneaking behind her. Let's try sneaking behind her. Oh. Why is this happening? Because of my guy, I'm guessing.
supposed to find something over here? No. Okay. Wait. Well, oh, shit. Do you think she checks this locker? I need to check that door on the left, but I'm not taking any chances. I close that so loud, how does she not hear that? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to take the elevator? Why was there like... I don't know what floor I'm supposed to go to. Okay. Why would there be an option for me to go to a floor? God. Maybe the thing inside that locker will tell me. Oh God. Are you serious? What am I supposed to do? Letter. Suicidal letter? I can't read that. Let's try description. Someone's suicidal letter says, Father, mother, I'm deeply sorry. I'm in such terrible pain. I can't go on without her. Without her? I have to be with her. Whatever she is, nothing can keep us apart, not even death. So there's nothing that tells me of... Uh... A wing, like what floor I have to go to. God damn it! So that's just part of a storyline. Which I am stuck for. Let's try heading this way. Maybe I'll find something. Explain to me how I can't crawl through this. Explain. I'm not sure what to do here. Like, why was I supposed to sneak to her? Do I just press any number on the elevator? Surely they wouldn't let me pass by that locker. on here. That's right. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. I'm not sure why I got stabbed in the first place. I must be missing something. What am I missing? God damn it, is this going to be another very long episode where I can't find shit? Uh... Wait, it's open now? Why is it open? Dear Shane's parents, this is Cherry. I have to tell you something about Shane. He's not been doing well lately. I believe he has been jinxed by some jinxed by someone. Shit, so this school believes in that sort of thing? Even though I think it's happening right now. 
We should not let them be together, for Shane's own safety. Please believe me, I'm really worried about him. Thank you very much. Cherry's letter. Is that a girl who's concerned about Shane? I thought this was a teacher's letter by how formal it was. I don't understand. So why would I need to go to that elevator? Like, if I pre can I, is it okay if I press a random button for the elevator? Wait, is that something? No. Anything at all? Nothing. Okay. Ah, back through this crap again. Close it nice and loudly. I want her to hear us. Did she say she wants to save me? Is this really all in my guy's head? He thinks they're all monsters trying to help. Wait, am I? No, wait, I'm Tim. I thought I was Shane. I thought maybe someone jinxed me. This is all going through my head because I'm suffering from withdrawal symptoms. Don't see me. Come on, you stupid mouse! My God, my mouse was acting up there like big time. I was like, "Is like, oh, right click, oh, not right click." I think I need to get a new mouse. Holy crap! How did I cross her again? Over here. Over here. Stop. Up. No, thank you. Surely this isn't someone that damned themselves to be with this person. That would be so sad. And we are out of here. Okay, elevator time. I'm not sure what floor we have to go on, but... Could this be a clue? 4-3. I'm not even sure what floors we've been to. Uh, fourth floor, I guess. Oh, we're not in the fourth floor. Third floor. <sighs> Guessing the elevator's gonna malfunction. I'm gonna stand to the side so nothing sees me. been here before. What was that beeping noise? What was I even supposed to do? Creepy lady still be down here. What was I even supposed to do? What is my objective? I wish it told me what my object objective was. Collectible items, Jane's diary. I know I have to find Jane, but where? Let me in! I'm lost. I'm truly lost. 
Either way, I'm going to call that an episode, and I, well, I'm going to end it for today here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.